Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop footer in your Weebly site. This video tutorial will follow the written step by step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step by step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so now as far as drag and drop footers go in Weebly's sites, this is a feature that's currently only available to paid sites. But with this tutorial, I will show you how to bypass that so you can reap the benefits of a drag and drop footer for your own Weebly site. Okay, so this is the demo site we'll be using for this tutorial. And this theme is bird's eye. Okay, and at the bottom here, you can see this gray area. And if this were uh, if this site were a paid site, this area would be the drag and drop area. But because it's not, um, we're going to install the drag and drop footer directly above it. All right, so let's get started. Step number one: open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Okay, back to the editor. Go to theme at the top and click on edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom left. And that will give us access to Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Step two, add HTML code. Grab the HTML code that is provided in the written tutorial and back over to the Weebly editor. Now on the left here under header type, you're going to install this HTML code for every page layout in your site, except the splash, <laughs> except the splash page layout which I don't believe uh, ever has a drag and drop footer, but I could be wrong. You can install it in there if you want to, but I'm not going to for this particular tutorial. Okay, so um, clicking on the header page layout, and on the right, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to locate the uh, footer div that came with this theme, and it's right here. And directly above it, I'm going to paste the HTML code that I copied from the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to repeat this process for the no header page layout. Okay, and I'm going to click save. Step three. Drag and drop elements into footer. Back to the Weebly editor, go to build at the top, and actually I'm going to scroll down to the footer. Grab the text element, and I'm going to drop that into the southernmost drag and drop area. Going to type, uh, this is my new footer. Okay. I'm going to publish this. I'm going to publish this, and you're going to see that it appears on the footer on the publish site, but that it should also appear on the footer of the no header page layout, which uh, the services page is currently using. So it should have automatically paste, uh, reflected what's in the header page layout into the no header page layout. And there it is. So you can see that. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Let me go back to the homepage. page. Uh, Chris, that doesn't look right. It's justified all the way to the left, and there's no spacing between anything. It looks horrible. And I couldn't disagree. Uh, sorry, I couldn't agree with you more. So to fix that, we need to add some CSS. And this step is actually optional. Um, most Weebly themes, um, when you finish, when you add that HTML coding in there, that's all you have to do. This will actually be centered um, and it will not be justified to the left and there will be spacing around the content within the footer but for this particular theme which is bird's eye um, as you can see here the container uh, has no padding and it has uh, it is not given a max width so we need to give it those CSS codes so that it looks decent all right, so back to the tutorial. Scroll to the bottom, and underneath additional information and tips, there is a CSS, a CSS code provided. Copy that CSS code. Back to the Weebly editor. 
theme at the top, edit HTML forward slash CSS in the bottom to access the HTML CSS editor. And on the left under styles, you're going to click on your CSS file. For this theme, the CSS file's name is main.less. And on the right here, I'm going to paste the CSS code that I just copied from the, C to, uh, the, tutor the tutorial. <laughs> Sorry. Paste. All right. And if that red dot appears, you can just delete that. All right. And this CSS code is going to do a few things here. First, it's going to give the container of the footer that we installed a max width, a max width of 1,200 pixels. The second thing it's going to do, it's going to um, center it. And it's going to do that with this code right here, margin zero auto. And the third thing it's going to do is it's going to uh, give some spacing between the actual content of the footer and the uh, the perimeter of the footer. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to show you what has happened. Okay, so you can see that everything within the content has been centered. And I will highlight that here so you can get a visual. So here, um, this blue area that's highlighted is the actual footer div we installed. And the second div right here is the container div, and that's emphasized by the green. So you can see the green is the padding, and the entire green from left to right um, is the max width of 1,200 pixels. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to publish that, and we'll see how it looks on the live site. And there we go. Look at that. That looks pretty good. All right, guys. So that is how you create a drag-and-drop footer in your Weebly site.